Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Tuesday. Happy Champions League uh, match day to you guys as well. That's what we're going to talk about in today's video. Champions League content on FIFA 20. Uh, marquee matchup, SBC possibilities, and uh, market movements that we could see because of this Champions League content. So we're going to cover a lot of that stuff today. Some of that uh, Champions League stuff actually started uh, on Monday where we saw the EA Sports... FIFA team release these cards into packs. They should not be in packs. They are never. They were never designed to be in packs last year, and I don't think that's the way they were designed to be released this year. Uh, but they must still be in packs because right now I see these guys popping up on the market, unless these are just mass listed that are expiring overnight um, or whatever. Supposedly these cards are now untradeable. But it looks like they're still getting the packs somewhere, somehow, as I see them being listed up on the market. Or people have them tradable in their clubs. I'm not sure. But there was a glitch today with these cards because these cards should not be on the market. And I want to talk about that because over here on Twitter earlier today, before any of this happened with the cards, the UCL rare cards being put on the market, we had a tweet from Toto Ultimate Team of the pack code guaranteeing a Champions League common player, common player, rare player, Two UEFA Champions League players, one of them rare. These are basically the same packs that we had last year in FIFA um, where these UCL rare cards came onto the game and they were added to the pack code. Uh, what, is it? what did this tweet say? I think this tweet said it, they were added to the pack code uh, last week and they're just tweeting it out now because they know that Champions League is uh, starting up this week. But... Uh, what we saw today with these cards was, yes, they were in packs. They should not have been in packs, but they this basically guarantees that they're going to be coming out. And the difference this year with these cards is they're the exact same rating and exact same stats as their base cards, which is a little bit unfortunate to me. We thought that this was... I kind of expected this was happening because of this card that was leaked earlier in the game. During the web app stages, there was a UCL rare item of Areola that was seen on the market, and it was the same rating same card as his base card uh as which this one right here is uh, i guess it actually has one less speed so I don't, I don't know what that's about but these are basically the exact same rating as those base cards and that was also confirmed today i guess if we can check lovren as well 54 pace 40 shooting uh lovren over here 54 40 59 63 80 78 so yeah all the stats are the same for lovren as well from his base card to this champions league edition and I'm kind of disappointed by that. I mentioned in yesterday's video, I hoped that they were going to keep it the same as last year and give these cards a plus one because that just gives so much more value to those cards and makes them much easier to trade with. Now for these cards, they're basically just going to become SBC fodder. And instead of having a blue, or instead of having a gold card in your team, you could have a blue item. That's basically the difference with some of these cards, um, which I really hope that... Uh, you know, these cards are probably going to get hyped up at some point. People are going to pay extra for blue cards instead of that gold card version that they'll have in their team. But it's honestly just going to be stupid. You're paying for cosmetic stuff instead of instead of paying for the actual stats. Last year, I had a stat boost, so there was some extra demand with those cards, and they were so fun to trade with last year. I don't know if you remember if you guys remember that, but I don't think the trading with those cards this year is going to be as effective because the stat boost is not the same. And it's uh, the stats are the, exactly the same as their their base cards, uh, but I want to talk about also what I saw with these cards when they came out into packs today onto the market. Now I realized they were in packs, but it wasn't a full supply. Like once the watches were out of packs and these cards were, um, you know, like coming out of the game. I don't know if somebody EA pressed the wrong button and instead of once the watch being in packs, these cards went into packs. It was a mess. Today was a mess on FIFA in terms of this. We had some pitch notes come out and. I don't know if there were some positive reactions to that, negative reactions to that, a lot of stuff. I'm not going to go into those pitch notes. I want to keep it on this UCL talk because I think that this is going to factor into the market a lot. So today what I'm seeing is FIFA Ultimate Team, we're going to get a UCL UEFA marquee matchups SBC like we have gotten in years past. It's going to come under the live tab. It's going to be UEFA marquee matchups. It's going to be one. It's going to be one Tuesday game, one Wednesday game. They're going to do an SBC for one, SBC for the other. You're going to get a pack and a pack, and then for the overall reward, if they do this exactly like last year, they're going to have these blue cards 
as a pack. And last year was a UCL three-player pack, and I think one player was guaranteed rare. So we might see a pack like that again this year, so you'll have a chance to get some of these UCL rare cards. They will supply them onto the market and onto the game. And if they are tradable like they were last year, these cards will enter the market, and it will be a big supply of these cards because last year, everybody went out and did that SBC. I looked at that SBC in yesterday's video, the market outlook, and it was pretty cheap, but those players got, the requirements got pretty expensive. So I think it actually cost you like 40 or 50,000 coins to complete both SBCs because the players from the clubs that were playing in Champions League, there's a lot of hype around those clubs. People want to do the SBCs. And of course, you see right now, a lot of SBC stuff is high on FIFA because people want to do SBCs and get packs. The advanced SBCs, the National Pride people were paying 120k to do this SBC. Yes, you get a 50k pack, but paying 120k, uh, when you add up all the pack values, even their face value, you, it's not even worth 125k, I believe. So that's crazy. But people love packs, people love SBCs, and people are going to do the UEFA Marquee Matchups SBC when that comes out today. I'm like 90% sure that's going to come out. Um, because we've seen these cards added to the code, and that just makes sense, uh, unless they do something different with that. But I think we're going to see these cards come onto the market tomorrow, and I want to refresh your minds on what's going to happen with these cards. When they come onto the market, there's going to be a huge supply of them. A ton of them are going to enter the market at one time, flood the market. People are going to be continually undercutting because they want to get the coins. They want to sell the cards, and for a lot of those blue cards, they're actually going to dip down and cause the gold card prices to drop because those blue cards might, depending on the card, depending on the supply, those blue cards might dip below the current gold card price. So if you remember my example from yesterday's video, Leroy Sané, last year his gold card was like 150k or something like that. The blue card came out and it was 125k, literally like 15, 20 minutes after that SBC came out, people were panic selling the crap out of that blue card just to get the coins because you pack a blue Sané, I mean, you, you want to take the coins. You're packing a Sané, that's a big card. You want to take the money, get your coins that you, you uh, are worth to you, you get for selling that card. So people keep kept undercutting each other, undercutting, undercutting, and his blue card got cheaper than his base card. And mind you, last year, the blue cards had a plus one uh, stat boost over the base card. So that was the situation where you could, you definitely knew that card was going to rise because it had higher stats. This year, it, it's probably going to stay higher. I imagine when all this settles and when all this is settled and done, the blue cards will rise above the gold cards. But I think tomorrow with all that blue card supply coming onto the market, if it is that UCL three player pack, for sure with the, the three pa player pack, you're guaranteed three different players. So you could get some big pulls in there. That's going to be a lot more supply on the market. And I think you could see some of the panic on the market in terms of people selling their gold cards uh, because they know that this is coming. Now, I think you can already start to see a little bit of this panic with some cards. Um, not really a ton, but a lot of these gold cards are down today. I mean, especially some of the guys that, that are in Champions League. Taliso on Bayern. Yes, he's low rated. But this is a card that if he, his blue card is going to get packed a ton He's going to dip down a price, but I think you'll really see the big difference on this in some higher priced players. Now, a couple of players come to mind right away, um, and actually, this is I'm thinking about this right now. This could be a very interesting situation because of somebody who is already very inflated, this Varane85. Watch his price tomorrow and watch his UCL rare price because this guy's very overinflated for an 85 rated card. He's very popular in this game. His 85 rated UCL card, if that SBC comes out, if we get the packs, could get packed a lot. Same thing with Bale. Those two car cards are 85 rated. They're Real Madrid. There's a lot of Real Madrid hype this year with the ones to watches, um, with um, these cards being very good in game. Bale and Varane. I've heard that a lot of pros are going after Varane as their center back in a partnership with VVD. That's what I've been told and hearing through some people that talk to professional players of FIFA Ultimate Team. Uh, so I would watch these cards tomorrow, especially a lower rated card like this that is high in value. Maybe another guy like Usman Dembele, who is you know in the same position, same league as Gareth Bale. Watch this card tomorrow, 84 rated, could get packed a lot. And you know people would, people might prefer a blue. Usman Dembele in their team over the gold one. 
But tomorrow with all the supply, I think you're going to see a lot of prices dip, especially on cards that are in Champions League. Uh, and that's going to create an opportunity to possibly get some undercuts, get some buybacks, and stuff like that. Maybe a guy like Mares as well. What's his price? Is like 20k still? Is he still 20k? 19.5. So he's still right around 20,000 coins. You might see this blue card tomorrow at like 14 or 15k. That could be a good opportunity to make a little investment. Honestly, you could look at tomorrow as a decent time to buy some teams. It's going to be panic that could be created off of just these cards coming out of the game. And watch. Watch it heading up to the UCL SBC. Watch the prices heading up to the drop. Maybe tomorrow we see a lot of panic selling in the morning because people think that the blue cards are coming out. They're scared that it's going to drop gold prices. I've heard a lot of people talking about it already. So maybe a guy like Dybala, who's 100,000 coins right now, maybe tomorrow morning you see him at 90K. You see like a 10%, even like a 20% drop with some of the cards like that. That's going to be an interesting buy, in my opinion. For sure, a 10% drop. Any drop bigger than that, I think you're definitely going to be buying those cards if it's a meta usable player. So you're going to want to kind of make make yourself a list of meta usable players that are in Champions League, whose teams are in Champions League. And if you see some panic selling on those prices in the morning uh, for cards in packs, even if it's for cards out of packs, like uh, I don't think I don't know if this is bad of me that I, I don't know if Monaco is in Champions League or not. Don't don't hate me, but if you see if you see panic selling on somebody like a Ben Yedder, regardless of whether he's in Champions League or not, if you see some panic selling on cards that are out of packs right now, so maybe a guy like Rodri, maybe a guy like Rodri, if you see some panic selling on his gold card because it is out of packs again for like another six days, five or six days for ones to watch, if you see this back down at like 25k, that could be an investment pickup or a buy for your team as he's definitely a 30k right now he's out of packs and all that panic selling would not be new supply on the market it would just be people panic selling that card and his price would definitely rebound from there as he is a meta not meta but he's a usable player he's new he's got the hype he's got the ones to watch so i would watch out uh, for some of that stuff as well so watch those prices tomorrow i think gold prices are going to be affected so basically what you're going to do is tomorrow at 6 p.m uk you're going to watch and see what sbc we get if we don't get any special SBC um, for that's going to give out these cards onto the market, these Cristiano Ronaldo's, the blue cards. Actually, I'm really curious to see if this one gets bought. Really curious to see if this blue Ronaldo gets bought. Um, 1850. 1850. I'm really curious to see if that card gets bought. We'll have to watch that. We'll have to watch that one on our transfer list. But watch that supply tomorrow because I think it's almost guaranteed those cards are going to come out. They're in the code. Um, it just it just seems like it's going to happen just like last year. And again, I think it's going to be a lot of supply. It's going to be quick. It's going to be fast because people know that it's coming this year. Last year, we didn't know that it was coming. Last year, it kind of caught us off guard. What are these cards? Like, what's happening? Why are they on the on the market tradable? I honestly thought that these cards last year were not supposed to be on the market. thought they were supposed to be untradables only. Um, but then they somehow got on the market and EA had to roll with it for the rest of the year. But this year, they've already put them on the market, so maybe if they were going to be untradeable, uh, they've already messed up and made them tradable. So we'll see what happens if they have any more information on that. They did tweet today and say, let me find this for you guys. I actually responded to the tweet because I thought that today was such a disaster class. Um, this is the tweet right here. Earlier today, earlier today, rare and common UCL items were released in foot 20, which have resulted in some unforeseen issues. The UCL items have now been temporarily removed. Those who receive the incorrect content, such as a UCL player, instead of the ones to watch, will be messaged in game. Details on UCL items in Foot 20 will come at a later date, aka today. Later today, I think we will see some of that. And this is my tweet, little little shameless plug. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, pretty funny tweet. I looked up unforeseen circumstances because EA loves to use the word unforeseen. Although unforeseen means first ever, out of the ordinary, and surprising. And uh, none of those things are, are describe this situation that happened today because it's happened all the time. We see things like this that happen all the time in FIFA. So hopefully they can get their fundamentals of just getting the right cards and packs fixed uh, in the future or sooner rather than later for sure. But I wanted to bring this to you guys today, talking about the market, talking about the possibility of a dip in gold cards. And look across the market as well. If you see panic selling market-wide, we're talking icons. 
We're talking informs. We're talking ones to watch players. If you see panic selling on some of these team of the weeks, go ahead and consider buying some of those players because why would there be panic selling? Why would those players coming onto the market affect these players, especially a guy like Coutinho? If you see him down like 50K tomorrow morning in some sort of like panic sell, that just means people are panic selling for no reason. People love to panic sell, so I wouldn't be surprised if it happens, but that would just be basically dumb if that did happen. So watch some of these meta guys, De Bruyne, Thiago Silva, Alexander Arnold, Thurum, Coutinho, Atal maybe as well. Watch them team of the week prices. Watch some ones to watch prices. Just be a vulture all over the market tomorrow. Checking prices, looking at footbin, looking at graphs, all that kind of stuff. Just be on your toes, ready for some panic, and we'll see what happens. We will see what happens tomorrow, today. I'm saying tomorrow because I'm recording this on Monday. It's almost Tuesday, uh, my time. Almost. We're close. Um, but I wanted to get this video out to you guys because Champions League content is coming. Champions League marquee matchups is the way that I see it coming. I think these blue cards are coming onto the market. We're going to get more information on them today. Maybe EA will be more upfront with us about what their usage, it, what their use will be, like why they're going to be used in FIFA this year, what the point of these cards is going to be, um, and why they didn't give them the plus one stat boost. Maybe we get some info on that. Uh, they've been pretty transparent this year about gameplay issues and about the game in general. So I really wonder if we'll get some more information on that. Hopefully we do. But I wanted to bring this video to you guys today to talk about the UCL stuff and possibly give you an opportunity to sell some gold players and rebuy if that's something you're interested in, making a little bit of a quick flip out of it, um, and then possibly trying to gain some coins back from that panic as well with buying some players as we head into the rest of the week where I think a lot of the market's going to rise with rewards, with weekend league on the horizon. Make sure you're playing rivals, get in that weekend league. I have to play a lot more games. And uh, make sure you get your end Endombeles as well. I'm very close. Uh, to getting this once to watch objective for Ndombele. I'm close. Hopefully you guys are as well. And uh, yeah, should be a fun week on FIFA with a lot of stuff happening, especially today, Tuesday. Should be a lot of fun stuff happening on the game. If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out. <laughs>